Hey guys, Dr. Daphne Lim, board certified dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about how to reduce acne scarring at home, in particular with reference to hydrocolloid patches. So, just as a background, um, acne scars, they're pretty common. So anywhere between 40 to 50% of patients with acne will scar. And out of those patients, 50% will present with what's known as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or post-inflammatory erythema, meaning brown scars and red scars. Now, if we take a step back a little before we go to hydrocolloids, the most important thing topical wise, sunscreen, because sunscreen will reduce the amount of pigmentation or the potential for pigmentation, both red scars and brown scars. So what sunscreens do I recommend? Well, something that you're gonna use. In Australia, everything's regulated. Anything above a 50 plus is considered good. I prefer things like, um, I like La Roche Posay. Reason being is because it's affordable, super affordable, but also it's very light, so it won't clog um, acne prone skin. Milan 130 is another good one, but it's super expensive, but um, the choice is yours. So when it comes to sunscreens, anything above an SPF 50 will be fine. Apply it twice a day, and that's gonna be markedly reduce your chances of skin color changes. So why am I interested in hydrocolloid patches? Well, these have been around for quite a while. Um, in fact, hydrocolloid dressings have been used by surgeons for basically decades. They're a very simple, cheap, um, dressing however nowadays with uh, various companies so a shout out to um, hero uh, but also zit sticker but you can buy these just about at any pharmacy and they're super cheap so something like this a no-name brand is going to cost you about three dollars uh, even cheaper in places like um, in, in Asia probably around a dollar fifty to two dollars and you get lots and lots of stickers um, that should last you anywhere between two days you've got lots of zits all the way up to a week or two. So if you have any, if you have um, the odd pimple or so, chances are a box is going to last you a couple of months. So it's a very small investment to pay for something which is um, which potentially can reduce scarring a lot. So how um, obvious are they when you put it on? Well, guys, I've got three in my face. I bet you didn't pick it, did you? So I've got one over here, um, just over here, and I've got two over here. So you can have a face full of these and um, it is not, people won't pick it. So look, what's the difference between an expensive brand like um, Hero or Zit Sticker compared to a cheap brand? The answer is not much. They're both hydrocolloid, they're both very sticky. Um, they both give good dressings. So why am I interested in this um, as a good, I guess, preventative for acne scarring? Simply it's because of this. Hydrocolloid dressings do, I guess, a few things. The first thing is it provides haptic feedback. So basically, if you're a picker, um, you basically, when you put one of these stickers on, it stops you or prevents you from actually gouging into your skin, into your dermis, and picking a whole heap of collagen out. So it provides feedback um, that, hey, you know what? I'm picking in that my, my pimple. I can't get through my pimple because I've got this patch. So unless you've got major OCD and want to rip off that patch and gather it into your skin, chances are a simple, simple dressing is going to help. So that's the first thing, haptic feedback and basically a physical barrier so that you can pick into that acne lesion. The second thing is that it provides a good wound environment. So dermatologists know that we call it grease for peace. So every time we create a wound, whether it be through really deep peels or um, surgery or even laser resurfacing, we know that the moist wound environment can promote good wound healing and good collagen stimulation. So that's very important. Um, and by having one of these, it basically occludes the scar, occludes the acne lesion, uh, allows for it to heal, but also absorbs the pus and creates a moist, warm <laughs> environment, not for bacteria because the hydrocolloid dressings are against bacteria. Um, but allows wood, good wound healing. So that's very important. The third thing is that certain micro needle patches, so there's two, there's two types here, if you can consider it two types. There's hydrocolloid dressings, which um, we talked about, and then there's high tech uh, micro needle patches. So high tech micro needle patches, they're a lot more expensive. So you're looking anywhere between 20 to $40, depending on where you buy it. And these contain micro needles. So literally something like between 50 to 100 micro needles, and the micro needles puncture the skin. So we're not talking about puncture as in ouch, and we're not talking about micro needling as in 
uh, radio frequency micro needling or micro needling using the device. We're talking about an absorbable micro needle um, made out of special materials. So basically, that micro needle itself contains um, plenty of micro needles that rest on your skin. So what it does is it aids in penetration of certain actives, and the actives can be things like niacinamide, which can reduce inflammation, ascorbic acid, which can also reduce inflammation, it protects your skin because it's an antioxidant, and it can promote collagen healing. And then they can add other things as well, like hyaluronic acid, and uh, things like arbutin as well, uh, because it can reduce pigment from that point of view. So basically the micro needles get absorbed over a period of about uh, one to six hours, and uh, during that time, the chemicals basically get absorbed through your skin. It breaches the stratum corneum, which is the um, barrier function for your skin uh, in the top layer of dead or cornified cells and basically allows all the goodies in this to penetrate into the epidermis. So it aids in trans epidermal delivery. That's a big word, but basically it means uh, assisting delivery of certain molecules and ingredients where they belong and not just sitting on your skin because your stratum corneum, the top part of your skin, is very important and what it does is that it reduces the penetration of um, actives. So that's what um, micro needling patches are for. These simple things, guys, it's your investment for this, even if you buy a simple pimple patch, literally you're paying a couple of dollars um, and that's gonna save you a lot of scars. So if you have zits, guys, especially for those pickers out there, invest in this, truthfully. Um, a good way to do things is this. If, you, if you're in doubt about the efficacy of things and how much you pick, just do this little trial. Take a photo of your face, take a photo of the um, lesions which you're picking in the area, and then try these on for a period of about two weeks. Retake the photo and see how good um, you get. And it's only gonna cost you, seriously, a couple of dollars. And that's gonna save you a whole lot of grief later on and a whole lot of expense, morbidity, uh, pain, um, and time when it comes to uh, reducing the acne scars. So guys, a simple solution that you can buy at any pharmacy. Obviously, keep up the good work with things like salicylic acid washes, benzyl peroxide, um, and things, for example, like retinol, uh, your retinoids. You can adjunctively, adjunctively add niacinamide, ascorbic acid. So I've done many videos on how to effectively manage acne at home. So guys, thanks very much for that video. I do a lot more education on the 101.skin or my Instagram account, um, Dr. Davin Lim. So if you uh, haven't subscribed to this channel, by all means, please consider doing so. I try to do a couple of videos every month. It's getting busy now, especially with my Instagram accounts, but I'll be committed to YouTube. So guys, thanks for that. I'm gonna remove these three, maybe even four hydrocolloid dressings now. Um, you can see they are so inconspicuous. So guys, don't worry about, um, about this. It's well worth the investment. By the way, this video is not sponsored. No way. See you guys, bye.